Welcome to K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. This is the K1 Featherweight World Tournament at the Fukuoka Kokusai Center. I'm Russell Goodall. And Nicholas Pettis. So this is uh, K1 uh, Super Lightweight uh, 65 kilogram fight between Hayato Suzuki and uh, Kaisei Kondo. Yes. Suzuki is coming, uh, he's a former a Crush uh, Super Lightweight Champion. And after a streak of three losers, he's, uh, he won his last fight with a, uh, with a knockout and he's back uh, motivated <gasps> against the Kaisei Kondo, uh, who is, uh, comes from uh, three brothers who are all fighting. Let's see what happens in this super lightweight fight. The Kondo brothers. The Kondo brothers, all three of them, yeah. And these, these two actually, uh, Suzuki and Kondo, have fought back in 2018. So this is uh, a rematch. And that fight was a draw because it was like a, a premium fight. So let's, for this one, I guess Suzuki and Kondo both want to uh, make sure. The super win. lightweight is under 65 kilos here. Mm -hmm. And actually this is a really cool weight class because they're fast and strong and big enough to have that knockout power. Right, right. So there's a lot to look out for here. Nice kick. You can see Suzuki Hayato is actually fighting as a southpaw here. Right, yeah. Except for the age difference, which is almost like 10 years, but uh, very similar height as well to... We'll see if uh, the veteran Suzuki can prove his skills. Yeah, also or 21 versus mm, 32, right? Yeah. Eight years old. It makes a big difference, I'll tell you that. Huge difference, yeah. As the older you want to be like, I'm going to show this young buck, <laughs> you know, a lesson here. But the young's like, yeah, I'll, I'll take on any challenge, huh? Yeah. Oh, we almost grabbed that leg and kicked him. I would like to have seen that. <laughs> hey, nice kicks from uh, Kondo. He's definitely not being intimidated by the age, that's mm, for sure. Mm. Or the power. Really trying to pick the shots. It's kind of interesting yep. to watch because uh, Hayato Suzuki was actually trying to be really aggressive in the beginning of the fight. He, and he then was, Kondo yeah. Just kept his own calm and his own timing, mm. and now they both slowed down. Coming into Kondo's pace a little bit. Yeah. Whoa. Nice, nice and so victory. actually, it's quite clever what he's doing. Mm. Getting him down to his level somehow, you know, yeah. of pace fighting. Clever. And so now he can control the fight just by doing it in his own timing and rhythm. Yeah. Instead of going, you know, excited and rushing into something. Right. Just because he's being intimidated. So this is actually really good. It's interesting uh, uh, development in the fight so early on. Yeah, and, and he's like young, young guy. You know, he's doing that all. Ooh. Really picking his shots though. You see? Mm. <laughs> oh, they're completely matching each other now in, te in tempo and timing. This could potentially be very dangerous for Hayato Suzuki. <laughs> yeah, well that was round one. Hmm. Suzuki versus Kondo, yeah. And, and like, totally different from the uh, bantamweight we were watching earlier. But uh, so, like you said, that's 65 kg, the super lightweight. Nice. Enough speed, but uh, yeah, some of those punches, when they do, if they do knock out, because they do have some pretty good knockout records too. Yeah. Could work. No, this is a really interesting uh, uh, weight class, actually. I mean, they could go up and fight under 67 also, or they could stay under 65. Mm. So depending on what kind of fighters they're looking to fight, the opponents that they want it for, then they could, uh, they could totally adjust their weight for that. I've never been in that scenario where I had to like choose between like you know two kilos difference. Yeah. I wonder how big the difference is for these guys, like physically and also mentally. Because you would naturally think that the heavier would hit would kick harder, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think there's a lot of difference in, in those two kilos. Sure. The stats say there's only like about two centimeters difference, but it, it, it looks lo it looks more than that. But uh, Kondo seems much taller than what it says, but. Let's see if in round two here, if, um... See how, how yeah. Suzuki comes out in the first round 
the same thing. He was the aggressor in the beginning, but oh man, he just got punched right there. In the face. See if Kondo will try to make his own game again. Yeah. Mm. So he sucked him right back into right, his face. Yeah. <laughs> After that fast paced at the beginning. Get in there and biff it up. Nice. Tap, yeah. tap, yes. Yeah, he's trying to those game yeah. for sure. I'm trying those inner thigh kicks. Ooh. Oh, nice shot. Man, he caught him with that short straight. Wow. So it was. I think there's actually one lasting damage here. Mm. He's gonna come in. He's gonna try and finish it off quick. Let's see what Kondo does. Stuck to his game plan and just picked the okay. shot. Nice body shot. Oh, oh, right again. Nice. oh, oh, oh! There you go. Come on, come on. Oh, he's yes. clearly hurt. Suzuki's he's clearly feeling, hurt. feeling it. So will Kundo go in for the finish? Oh. Yeah, 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 he's got to do it. Oh, oh! 40 seconds, guys. Yeah, no, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's just tired. He's worn down here. Man. Knackered. Okay. And That's a good point. shot again. Yeah. He's really mixing it up well, actually. Still, you know, he sticks to his game plan. Keeping it clean. He's not maybe rushing in to try and finish him off like crazy. Just Smooth. making the shots. Smooth. For 10 seconds. Yeah, he's got finish. nothing to rush into. Boom. Except, now he's going to have to fight another round. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's probably ready for that, but uh, is, is Suzuki ready for a third round? After the damage, but I, I believe he'll recover. Yeah, that but, one just landed straight on his face, like popping his chin down. So push him right back to the ropes and then down, huh? He actually hit him on the ground there, that's mm. not so nice. He could have gotten a warning yeah. for that, uh, actually. Once, once his knees were down, yeah, he punched him in the face, yeah. Where did this guy learn that patience from? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's just so sort of focused. He's gonna come out in the last in the last round here, and he's still gonna just pick his shots. Yeah, yeah, just he knows where to do them. That's quite impressive. So Suzuki, though, this is his last. Final. I guess it's round for him and a chance to come back after that uh, fall in round two. Yee, okay, just Again, that's straight. Oh man, that must have hurt again. He connected with it twice. Ooh, okay. No, you don't have time to hug it. Stop, 
So now he's getting real sloppy. His legs are not mm, really working mm, as good mm. as they were. Man, if he just gets covered with one of those straight rights again, he's going to drop. Yeah. One minute 40 seconds to see if Kondo can actually take that off. I don't think he has. But man, this is really taking the gas out of him. Yeah, yeah, this he's, is, he's this feeling, is his yeah. worst. This is Kondo's worst nightmare is when someone starts riding him like that. Ah. You can tell by his eyes there. He's like figuring, trying to figure out how much time there's left on his fight. Because mm -hmm. he doesn't like this kind of fighting. <laughs> Actually, it's quite clever what Hayato Suzuki's doing. Yeah. Like, really just laying it into him. Oh, man. What if he gets him? Yeah, uh, now Pongo's holding on too much. Yes. That's it. He's going to get a warning. He must. Yes. Another card. Pongo's, yeah. Well, but that's because he's getting worn down by it. You know, he's just hanging on and grabbing on to Hayato Suzuki. Yeah. Because he needs to in order to survive this fight. We got one more minute. Yeah. He's gonna have to fight for this, otherwise he might lose it. Oh! Good shot. That might be it. Okay. Man, Suzuki's still not <laughs> sticking there. Yeah. Man. Again, holding on by himself. He's gonna get another warning. This is not good for him. Mm. Okay. He needs to figure out a way to fight his way out of this. Suzuki's like back from the other oh, damage. Come on, man. You had a chance right there. Oh, oh nice goes tired. Yeah. 20 seconds. He's going to feel the pain there. And... Okay. Who's gonna take it? Who's gonna take the last shot? Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. Give it one more minute and I wanna put my money on high to Suzuki for sure. Right, right. Just yeah. for sheer yeah, like yeah. willpower. And uh, it looked like it was almost over and wow that like he's really both of them are like. Man, so if he had tired. if he, you know if if he had not gotten sucked into mm. um, his um yeah, Kondo's uh, the pace of the fight. Mm, mm, mm. In the first two rounds, if you yeah. had done this in the first round and gotten him more tired, yeah. there's a way to break that system down. Yeah, yeah. You see? By roughing it up because he did not like that. Nope. He's going to win the fight uh, because of the down that he had. Kondo is? Yeah. Mm. For sure. Maybe 30, 28. Oh, 28 to 28 to draw. What? Interesting. I did not see that coming. 28. 28 to draw. <laughs> okay. Fair. Everyone gives it 28. Okay, so that means that. Extra round. Yeah, wow. Well, there you go. Okay, I didn't see that coming. Yeah. This is good. This is good for us. Get in there and mess him up. He's going to win the fight. Halfway through round two, you know, I thought it was going to be a condo game. Totally condo turning it yeah. around. Wow. If he's got the stamina to do what he yeah, did. Yeah, that's the round. thing. He's got, what, a minute to recover? Uh, a bit more than a minute because, you know, they're doing the round girls and stuff like mm. that. So with the announcing, you probably got two, maybe three minutes. Nice kicks there from. It's wow. kind of enough and it's also kind of not enough because look at what he did in this round. <laughs> <laughs> he really fought for it. This is a veteran um, coming out of Suzuki. Kondo was looking sort of not as calm as he was in the That's what life experience. Yeah. Give you an understanding of how to fight for it right yeah. at the end. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic round. Oh, Suzuki's got that stare now looking over at Kondo. Here we go, okay. Here we go. Super lightweight. Extra round. 
Come on, strategically, you know what you have to do. You gotta go in there and mess him up. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah. there, there you go. go. Keep pushing him around, this is great. He won't recover, by the way. No. Interesting to watch. Clearly, Kondo was like in control in the beginning, but yeah. the is just yeah. like... Yeah, turn around. Yeah. 180 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> That's a down? Oh my god. Yeah. That's a down? I told you, man. Just keep going and you'll wear him down for sure. Pushing he it out of the give ropes. up the hands, he's going to be called out right now. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's bleeding. Yeah, so he is hurt. Nice. Okay, that's good. Okay. Good for you, Hayato Suzuki. Amazing this, fight. This there he is. That's it. Done. Wow. <laughs> now, who would have thought in that round two that Hayato Suzuki, the winner of the super lightweight match? Wow. Man, that was a no, great fight. Nobody saw that halfway through. <laughs> this is K1 and super lightweight people. Ooh. Oh man. Well, that was that was quite the fight. Kondo has learned his yeah, life lesson. Man. Man, I'll tell you what, the training that goes into getting to that kind of level mm. of stamina and willpower yeah. is amazing. Like that doesn't come lightly. He really worked hard to get to where he, he was through this fight. I haven't seen people being pushed out of those ropes there. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Stop laughing, Nick. I'm sorry, but it's just, yeah, it's just, it's really amazing to watch. Yeah. It really is. And he deserved it after that, that comeback in round two. Amazing. There's the knockout bonus for Hayato Suzuki. What wow. a night for Suzuki san. That was very impressive. Very impressive. Mm. More so because you could see the psychology of the fight, how yeah. it all changed halfway yeah, yeah. through. Just turn, turn it around, let's see what Suzuki-san says. Hey, <laughs> The challenge. You can the challenge. You let me fight. Yeah. Good man. Hayato Suzuki did the winner definitely for this uh, K1 Super Lightweight at the K1 World Grand Prix 2022 Japan. K1 Featherweight World Tournament. Wow, what a night. This was Russell Goodall and Nicholas Pettis.